Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here with a floss tube extra. I recently got back from a cross stitch retreat in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It was the Grace Notes Grace Notes Fabrics Retreat. I this was my first retreat that I ever went to um, for cross stitch, and let me say that it was the most enjoyable experience I've ever had with a large group of ladies and gentlemen. It was fabulous. And I wanted to come on and tell you about it and show you all the goodies that I received. Um... And in no way, shape, or form am I bragging about any of this, the stuff that I've received, the things that I have bought, but I really am just so excited about my experience that I wanted you to hear about it. And then also, if you've ever been on the fence about going to any sort of craft retreat or a retreat for any of your interests, I would say please go because it was, it was fabulous. First, let me tell you about the group that put it on. This is the Grace Notes Fabrics um, team, and I will make sure that their information is listed down below, their shop information. Um, two of the ladies, the owner and her daughter, have a YouTube channel. Um, they put on such a nice retreat. This was the second year that they had put on this event, and the first time that it was held in the Hyatt Place Hotel in Allentown, Pennsylvania. First of all, the team was fabulous. Everybody was so upbeat, so friendly, but not like over the top fake friendly, just like naturally friendly. Now, a lot of you have met Rosie in my videos and I ended up bringing her with me. I went with a friend, Valerie, and she came up from Florida. And some of you might know Valerie from um, hearing about her on my channel. If you um, watch me, you might watch Jaylon, and she appears on Jaylon's channel quite a bit. Um, but Valerie came up from Florida to attend this retreat with me, and she said, well, you're bringing Rosie, right? And I was like, well, I wasn't going to, and then I decided to. It's a pet-friendly hotel. So I thought, well, Rosie can just stay in the room. And my first experience with this team was, first of all, going down a day early because Valerie and I arrived a whole day early thinking the retreat started on Wednesday night and it started on Thursday night. How the both of us did not know this, I have no idea. Anyway, we go down to the room to like check it out because we thought we could go in and start stitching. And they were like, hi. And we're, I'm thinking, why isn't anything set up? What is going on? And they were like, sneak peek. And we're like, yeah, when can you come in? And they're like, tomorrow at noon. And we're like, what? It starts tomorrow at noon. We're like, oh, my God. But they were so gracious. Um, Corinne came right over, introduced herself, kind of gave us a little lowdown on where everything was going to be. And I felt really comfortable, and I, I let her know about Rosie. I said, hey, I have Rosie with me. I told her about Rosie, and I said, can I bring her in the late-night stitching room? Because that was going to have less people, and I thought that would be great. And she goes, under one condition. I said, what? That you let me hold her. I was like, okay. So knowing that it was okay with Corinne, I asked my table mates, hey, do you mind? If, and she's like, you can bring her right into the retreat, ask your table mates. I'm like, okay. So I asked my table mates, they had no problem with it. Rosie doesn't shed. She's very quiet, she's small. And if you've seen her, you know. Anyway, Rosie ended up being the star of the show. Everybody was so good to her. Anybody that saw her wanted to pet her people came up that I didn't even like talk to the whole time and they were like Rosie and they'd pet her she was in pictures um it was fabulous and it was very cute so that was my experience with the Grace Notes team they were so gracious they were so fun the organ the, the event was so organized and it was just wonderful so I wanted to show you everything that I received. When we first went in, we got our um, name tags. And I don't want to show you it completely because it has my last name and where I live on it. So anyway, we got a name tag and we wore these and we could have like our floss tube channel on it so people would see that we had a floss tube. Everything was in this Grace Notes Fabrics tote, including the things that we may have purchased ahead of time that she brought for us to put in these swag bags. 
So let me show you the swag that we received from Grace Notes. First of all, she included a um, eighth of a cut eighth of a quarter of her Ada in 14 count called Rooted in Grace. This is a beautiful, like minty, grassy green. I don't even know what to call it. I hope that it's picking up true to color on camera, but it is gorgeous. And I thought how generous that she gave everybody a swatch of that fabric. I think everybody got one. It was in my bag and it was gorgeous. Then it came with like a little goodie bag of stuff. So I'm gonna show you what's in here because again, very generous. There were two pieces of fabric which we were supposed to play a game at our table and we never got around to doing it and that's completely fine. But one's a piece of Ada, one's a piece of linen. So I'm gonna save this for um, like making a Christmas ornament or something on them. So I'm gonna save that. We got a couple of um, needle minders. Here's one, this was homemade. And then here's one Grace Notes fabric. And then they gave us a skein of their floss that they are now making. It's cotton floss. It's called Floss Tones, and this is in the shade Sarah. I think it goes, like, it would go really well with this fabric, so beautiful. Maybe I'll find, like, a little monochromatic piece to do on that. We got a tape measure, some lip balm. We got a scissors fob that, or no, scissors, like, I think this is a, a little sheath to put your scissors in, and that's what I'm doing. Look at these freaking mini scissors that I've had, and I'm gonna just stick them in there. And then um, we received a project tag, so you can put all your information about your project, some notes on the back, and then put this in the bag, or you can pin it to the outside. I thought that was fabulous, and they sell those as well. We got some business cards about the vendors that were there, um, a Needle threader. I've never used this kind before. Where did that go? I don't want Rosie to get it. Sorry. It's like having a toddler. Like, I don't want her to swallow it. <laughs> so I had to make sure I picked that up. So we got that. And then um, there was like a prayer thing. And then a little notebook. You got this. Which I thought was very cute. So that was the Grace Notes swag that came in the bag. Now, when you go to a cross-stitch retreat, it's very common that people bring table gifts. So there are six to eight people at a table, but at our retreat, there were eight. And um, we got table gifts, which was super lovely. But then on top of it, some people would just walk around and give you things and they brought something for every single person at the retreat. And I just thought, holy cow, that is so kind. So Valerie and I put together a goodie bag. I thought I would show it to you. Um, here is what it looked like. And we included in ours um, some stickers from London. Valerie went to London this summer. She made these beautiful cards. So there's one. There's another and she let me pick them out, which ones I wanted out of the bunch. And there's another one. They're just blank on the inside. They are lovely. And then we put in a skein of floss, either white or black, duh. And she also brought some honey from Florida. I guess that's a big thing down there. And I made two dishcloths for each person. Mine only has one because we had one left. So I just brought that home with me. So that was our little goodie bag um, that we gave to everybody at our table. And then um, I received this little pouch. I'm sorry, I don't remember everybody that gave me something. And I feel bad about that. I know that somebody at my table gave me this. It's a little like mascara wand type thing. So when you frog out your stitches, you take them out. If there's like little remnants of thread, you can like, um, sh 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 get it off the fabric. And then um, another woman at our table gave us this pair of scissors and I thought that was such a generous gift, very lovely. In this little bag, there was this little chapstick holder. There were some post-it notes, some tissues, and a cute little pen. And she must have designed it, whoever gave this to us. 
and it opens and closes. This might have been one of the gifts that I got from somebody at my table too. I'm sorry, I can't remember you guys. And if you're watching and you gave me these gifts, I thank you so much and I'm so sorry I cannot remember who gave me what. I, I That's why Valerie and I made little tags for ours so that, not that we need anybody to give us credit, but you know, it's kind of nice sometimes to know who gave you what. Then I have this little bag that I just filled with like, um, the like odds and ends that I got. There was a woman who made these. Look at how cute. She crocheted these out of embroidery floss and then starched them and gave one to everybody at the retreat. Another woman came by with this needle minder on a sticker and it says, find joy in the journey with a little sticker and I thought that was very kind. I got some mints, I don't know from which bag. And then, oh, this was in my Grace Notes bag too. So that was a little swag that we got. Um, I received another bag from someone and this had what's called a thread hopper. So there's two needles and it's a way to count your stitches. So you put one needle in one spot, one needle in another, and then you know how many you have in between, whether it's 10, 20, whatever, and it has a little charm. I think that's how you use this. It also had some candy, an emery board, and a pencil. Candy's always wonderful. Emery board comes in clutch. If you get a little snag, then you're not snagging your fabric or your floss. Great idea. Um, two women named Jean and Megan came around. It says, a gift for you. Enjoy the stitchy weekend. And this has some little stitch markers and a little um, brush to clean off your threads and an emery board. Very cute. Another woman came by to promote her... Um, needleworks shop called B-U-E-U-E -E, and there is her card. I'll try to remember to link everything I can down below like the shops, um, the different swag things that I got so that if you're interested in anything you can click on the links. I'll definitely list grace notes down there but here is her little sheepy that she gave us a little wooden sheep. I thought it was so stinking cute. Then um, Valerie gave me these scissors. They are in a little parrot sheath. <laughs> that was so cute. And there they are. Um, I now know how valuable it is to have a lot of stickers. We received this, a little um, coaster. I thought this was such a cute idea. I love, love, love it. And on the back, more snowman. And then this little book, Okay, I thought this was a fabulous idea. Somebody stitched on everybody's. We got another, a little motif. She put a sticker and then like glued this down. And I already like started filling it in with addresses, phone numbers, and then like a list of things I wanted to make sure I looked up when I returned. And then one of the most wonderful things that I thought we got was a thread bed. Now a thread bed is something that you close it and then you open it up and you can put like your needle in here. You can put like extra threads and it just sticks, the threads stick to it. Even if you go like this, they'll still stick. So if you're working on a project, you can use this for your extra threads. But this one, there was a quilt there that was raffled off. And the woman that made the quilt, first of all, it was a beautiful quilt. The woman who made it decided that everybody needed a piece of the quilt to bring home with them and she made every single one of us thread beds and there were 150 of us at this retreat so talk about like fabulous fabulously generous I just thought that was so nice all right then at retreats I don't know if it's all retreats but at this one at least there's a freebie table so anything you do not want anymore in your stash you bring you put on this table and anybody can take anything they want whatever's left at the end gets donated somewhere so I had been looking for some bookmarks and Valerie brought me these two from her collection so those were freebies for me but then she also found these two on the table so I am going to and they all have patterns on the back this one says bookworm and then these have the same pattern. And I thought that was beautiful. I'm like, I can stitch that. So I got these. And then I also picked up this Bravo Rainbow Gallery floss. I thought that was really pretty. I picked up this Christmas gift ornament. It, and it is made with perforated paper. I just thought that was cute and something I can um, work on. And it came with all the floss. I was like, all right. 
I got this pattern, Be Claws I Love You, so cute. I picked up this embroidery kit and it has the floss in it. I don't know if it's all the floss, but it's, it's some of the floss. Oh, it's DMC in there. And I already bought an embroidery kit last year at Rhinebeck, but that was kind of expensive. So I think I would use this one to practice on. And if it doesn't come out the greatest, fine, because it was free. But then that one, once I know the stitches, I can really create it. And then maybe it won't be as messy because I've already practiced. That's like my goal at least. And then I picked up a bunch of patterns. Um, Little House Needlework, Simple Joys, Simple Life. The Clown by Cottage Garden Samplings. Sitting Pretty by CW Designs. This is, that's a full coverage. Oh my gosh, this one, Dreaming of Sunflowers, Rosewood Manor. Now, I probably wouldn't backstitch all the words in there, but I just thought this was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Um, the Drawn Thread, Give Thanks. Glendon Place, this is called Moose by Moonlight. Guys, this was all free. I got a couple prairie schoolers. This one is evergreen. And I don't even have to stitch this whole thing. I could just do, you know, the little things. Or maybe even create, like, on the back here, they have it where you can um, do separates. And I was like, that's a great idea. Like, if you want to make some pillows for a dough bowl or something. Or just, like, maybe little flat, um, flat finishes. Um, here's another prairie schooler. This one's called Songs of the Season. Now you could stitch them all on the same piece. You could do them separate, whatever. And then this one was so different. This is called The Mermaid of Salem Bay by The Primitive Hair. Look at her. Woo, beautiful. And then I rescued a finish. So I saw this and I was like, somebody just put it on the freebie table. It must be they created it and they didn't want to finish it. But I, I rescued this little guy. Now I could put it in a frame, but I think I'm going to make a little pillow out of it. Isn't it cute? And I can keep it up all winter. Like, I just thought it was so cute. So I am going to rescue this. Well, I did rescue it. And I'm going to make a finish out of it. And I, like a fully finished. And I didn't even have to stitch it. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that was all the free stuff. All right, let's get into purchases. Uh guys. First of all, first of all, this was the last thing I purchased. It's something I'm very excited about. So I had been floss dropping all of my DMC flosses on floss cards that I made by myself. They were made out of pretty flimsy cardstock cards that were like little flash cards that I, were, I was not using them in my classroom. They had been passed down to me I want to say generation after generation, but they were old and I had been using them and they just, they, they fall apart. They rip, they haven't been the greatest. So I've been searching for a system and I came across this one on YouTube quite a few times and I was like, well, if I ever see it in person, I am going to check it out. And I saw it in person. I checked it out and a woman at my table, thank you, Tina, um, told me she had it and it is the Annie's Keepers set. I'm so excited. So for this system, you get one of those file boxes that you can, you know, the plastic file boxes that you can get at any um, store. And these little rails, <coughs> these little rails, excuse me, sit on the top like you would put your hanging files. Then you put these little floss drops in them when your floss attached, they slide in and your floss hangs down in the box and stays nice and clean. Okay, to continue, since I was so rudely interrupted, anyway, you take these um, floss drops and you slide them on and then you put them in the box. Now, what I like about that is that everything will stay clean, dust-free, because right now I have all mine on rings and they're like, I have the 100s on a ring, the 200s, 300s, 400s on a separate ring. They're just all stuck in a closet along the walls, so I can't even use the shelf for anything and then like I know I keep the door closed but they're gonna get dusty 
And the other thing I didn't like is that they kind of get all tangled at the bottom. This way I can just pull up a rail and there they are. Um, and I have a black box and I'm gonna put an opaque lid on. So like, I just think it's gonna be a fabulous system for me. So I did purchase this at um, Grace Notes. I will put their um, web address down below in case you want to go check them out. But these are again called Annie's Keepers and you can go to annieskeepers.com as well. So there is that. That was my, that was my like big purchase that I purchased all at the same time. Um, I'll show you, let's see, I'll show you the fabric last. Keep you in suspense. So I bought two like scissor fobs or you can put these on bags or whatever you want, but I put these on my little mini scissors. And this one says, I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? That cracked me up because I roll my eyes a lot. And this one says, it's way too people-y outside. Whenever I'm around a big group of people for a long time, I say I have to de-people when I get home. So that was appropriate as well. I also purchased this tail end weaver. Now, I uh, oftentimes have my tails and they're they're small I can't always get them weaved under so I ended up getting this because I thought well that'll help me I didn't have to use it at the retreat but I have had to use it other places and I really enjoyed it now I also didn't know we were going to get a thread bed from the creator of the quilt so I bought my own I just thought this was so stinking cute this is from Sheba Designs oh my gosh I've looked at her stuff online and I've never pulled the trigger. And then when I found out she was going to be at this retreat, I was so excited because then I was like, oh, I can see her stuff in person and purchase something. So this was the inside of the thread bed. See how I just said the thread just sits there. And then I have my snag nabbit tool on there, an accounting pin. You can put needles on here. And then here's the design. It's so cute. It's little reading ladies. I just love that. So that was the thread bed that I got. And then inside the Grace Notes... Um, swag bag was the sal that I purchased so they do a sal every year a new one for the retreat and this year the design is Main Street by finally a farm girl and here is the design so I will probably start with the coffee shop and then move out. Now, I bought the whole kit, but she forgot to include my bag of DMC. And when I let her know, she was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I'll send it out right away. And I was like, she's so sweet, Corinne. So I got my overdyed, the Weeks Dye Works. I have the fabric that I chose for the project, which is an 18 count Ada in mint matcha. It's a beautiful, like, minty green, of course. Mint matcha. Gorgeous. And then um, she included a, a stitch card to put in. A little scissor fob or maybe a zipper fob or something like that. And then a needle minder. Grace Notes Fabric Needle Minder. So this is fabulous. So all this stuff can stay with it. And then I also purchased on top of it a bag, a project bag specifically for the Sal from Black Cat X Stitchery. And this is what the bag looks like. It's so beautiful. And here's the little like fob on it. It's a kitty cat. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. The little pull, charm, whatever you call it. And then here's the back really pretty so I will put all this good stuff inside this right now since I showed it to you now I can kind of do whatever I want with it so it is going to go in this bag until I start it which I really want to start it soon because Corinne worked out I think it was Corinne that worked it out that if you do one of the houses every every two months you could get done in 10 months. You'll have like a two month and then like the trees in another two month period. I think that's how she worked it out. You'll still have like a two month grace period to get it done before the retreat next year, which I'm planning on going to. I already told her. I'm coming back. You are stuck with me, Corinne and team. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, then I've also been looking at these online and I was like, I have to buy 
Well, I ended up buying three. So these are project folders. I have loved seeing them. And these are also from Sheba Designs. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. So I got a small one. This is the size, when you open it up, it's about the size of a sheet of paper, like an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. It has the little fob on it. You can take it off and these, it's a little paw print and a leaf. They all have the same charm, so I'm not gonna keep showing that to you. But this is just lovely. It has a little pocket here. Look at that print, it's so pretty. And then the vinyl pocket here that you can put like your project in to keep it safe. I might, I threw my project on this side and had all my accessories here when I was using it. Um, I have another one I started using. So that is the smaller, um, project folder that I bought and then I bought two large ones now I'm afraid of mice I don't know why I bought this mouse one but I thought well maybe it'll help me get over my fear of mice I think these are mice but I really don't think it will but this was really stinking cute so I got this little guy look at him he's so cute now this is the size of a piece of paper and then you open it up and it's huge so it's got the design this flower design on one side and then on the inside this is what it looks like on the inside of the vinyl pocket and i love that she did you know the contrasting fabric and then put this you know this fabric and so there's three different prints and it's just beautiful and her work is just beautiful and it snaps closed so you know it's secure you know I mean velcro is fine I would have been pleased with velcro but it just gives it a little sense of extra security when it's a little snap and then the final one I, re I, I bought received I bought was this psychedelic bunny that's what I'm calling it this is like the crazy bunny um, project folder and I'm keeping my monster house sale from Satsuma Street in it and I just love it I mean here's the inside with that and then there's this fabric on the other part so I'm already using this one and I love it there's that all right should we talk fabric because I have a stack I was a little gremlin and I could not contain myself and I think I went up to that table like three or four times and now I think I want to join their fabric of the month club they also have a Karen water lilies oh my god if you have stitched with water lilies you know how gorgeous they are and I was like nobody nobody that I know of has a club for Karen water lilies but I'm also in an NPI silk club so I might wait until that one's done and then start the water lilies I don't know I don't know Corinne enabled me and I let her. So anyway, here's what I got. I ordered this fabric ahead of time, but this is a 20 count Ada. It's a fat quarter. I really wanted to try 20 count Ada. And this is in the shade Molly. Look at that. Gorgeous. Beautiful modeling. Their fabrics are modeled in a way that I've never seen. They are so beautiful. There's Molly. The second one is a 32 count linen. It's also a fat quarter in the shade Marble. Look at this, gorgeous. Hopefully you are getting a true sense of what this fabric looks like. Next, this is a 18 count Ada. It's a fat quarter in the shade Black Licorice. Black Licorice, look at that. Can you tell I have a little bit of a trend going on here? You're going to see a lot of purples. Now, this is a 36 count linen. That was, it's a little high for me, but I'm trying to be like brave and branch out a little bit. This is in the shade Reese. If you know, you know, Actar fans. I had to get it just because it's Reese. And if you've read the Actar series, if you know, you know. Beautiful. This next one, everybody except one woman at our table bought this fabric. We all enabled each other. This is a 36 count linen. This is a fat quarter in the shade Lavender Fields. Oh my God. I also ordered a fabric called Once Upon a time, I think it's called. Oh my God, you should go online and check that one out too. But look at this, it's so beautiful. Oh, I couldn't get enough. I love it. I bought a fat half of 32 count linen of coconut milk because I'm like, this is a great neutral. And maybe it will fit like 
a hawk run hollow on it or something because I really want to do um, the Halloween hawk run hollow. So I was like, maybe this will it'll fit on this. I don't know. And then the last piece I have is a fat half of 32 count linen in the shade Bell. Mm, so beautiful. You guys, look at how lovely. Beautiful, beautiful. So that is it. That is everything. I still am on a high. I came home and I wanted to keep stitching. I've been stitching every day for the past two days since I've gotten home. Um, I'm exhausted. It, it is no joke, but you don't get as much stitching done as you think. Everybody's right with that. People say, oh, you don't get a lot of stitching done. I'm like, what do you mean? You're at a freaking crossage retreat. tree. That's all you're supposed to be doing, but they are right. You don't get a lot done because um, you're too busy talking, walking around, shopping, eating, hanging out. I mean, it was it was fabulous. I would do it a million times over, and I cannot wait to see everybody next year. I'm already in um, group chats with some people. I'm in face. I made Facebook friends with other people, and um, I also found a group that does other retreats that I can see some of these ladies at again sooner rather than later and I just my heart is full I'm so happy and thank you guys for giving me some of your time to watch this and um yeah I'll be bringing you more crafty content so I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are and I will talk to you soon bye